Hey everyone, it's Amanda, and today I'm here with the biggest haul I think I have ever done on my channel. Oy! There have been some amazing sales. Um, CVS is doing their, I think that's like a semi-annual thing where they clearance out a bunch of like products that aren't selling very well, and they're 50 or 75% off, and I went crazy. I bought a ton of stuff. I saved like 150 something dollars and spent a little under $50, so whoop-de-doo-da. And, um, yeah, I got a, some great things, but I want to start off with the thing that I actually went there for. I had $5 extra bucks, and I saw, you know how they give you, like, the rewards? And then I saw that this was on sale there. Um, it's normally $42. It was on sale for $30, so I got it for $25. And, oh, mama, it's what I did my hair with today, and this thing, really, I love it. So, this is the Con Air Infinity, whoop, you can't see that, Con Air Infinity U-Wave Ultra, and it's really awesome. Like, can you see how much volume my hair has? I love it. It's just something different. It did take a lot longer than using, like, my curling wand that I have, but it's totally fun, um, a great thing to do on a night out if you are going to a holiday party. I'll probably wear my hair like this for my holiday party. I just think it's really fun, and um, it gives you amazing volume. And I'm going to play around with this and see if there's anything else. I was thinking you might even be able to do something where you wrap it around the barrel and get some sort of a wave. I always like to find an extra use for my tools because something like this is usually just so... I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's much more limited. There's only so much you can do with this. Um, and if you guys like, I can do a full review and tutorial on this. But so far, I'm telling you, I like it a lot. Other things that I got there, um, I just went randomly through the store and I bought a ton of really great products. I'm going to start off with this by Sally Hansen and this is the Overnight Lip Recovery and someone actually mentioned this to me when I've said before that I have chapped lips and I'm really excited to try this. It says restores and revitalizes your lips while you sleep and it says um, it has like vitamin A, C, and E. It just sounds really awesome, and of course, I need my lips to be restored when I sleep. That's so much more convenient, so really excited about that. Then I got a mascara. This is the um, Revlon. It's called Double Twist, and it's really interesting. I just picked it up because I had never seen anything like this, and it was 75% off. Um, hopefully, you can see there's two different kinds of bristles on here. Can you see that? See, there's some red ones which are rubber, and then there's the black ones that are your normal ones. And um, it's very interesting. It's definitely volumizing for me. I really liked it. Um, can you see? Yeah. Anyways, um, I really liked it so far, um, but I'm guessing they're probably discontinuing it, so that's not very helpful to you, but um, to get a great mascara at a low price is never a problem, so if you see this on clearance at your CVS, I recommend that you pick it up and try it out. Um, for me, I need volume mostly, not so much length, so I really liked this. I got this um, lip stain, um, which is one of the Maybelline, actually, Color Sensational. And I've, I tried their lip stain. It wasn't one of my all-time favorite lip stains, but considering it was like four bucks, I had to pick it up because I was looking for a more like peachy red. And this is a great one. The only problem with these things is they're not very accurate to what the color looks like on here. So if you can, just try and swatch them on your hand. I would do that even though you're not supposed to. But yeah, this is a good one. And lip stains are so great, especially for like holidays and stuff because they just stay on a lot longer. Then I got something else. This is the um, Revlon, uh, what is it, the Color Stay Ultimate lip color and it looks like a lip gloss but let me tell you this stays so much longer than a lip gloss it's craziness and this is like a beautiful like deep brownish red color I really like it and it's definitely shiny um, these things are really smooth and pigmented and once they kind of set and dry they're really hard to get off so that's actually a good thing for some people but I like this a lot so far um let's see Okay, should I do my lip colors? I bought like five million. Starting off quickly, this is the, um, oh, this wasn't on sale, but I had to buy this. This is Ferris Nude. I finally got Ferris Nude. Um, you guys probably already know what it looks like, but here it is. This is L'Oreal Ferris Nude, and everyone loves this lip color, and this is just one of their original color-rich 
formulas and it's really creamy but I'm not a fan of the smell but that's okay um, then I got another one which is probably one of my faves this is called um, just enough buff and it's one of the Revlon um, super lustrous and the reason I dislike this color is oh no, no no this isn't the one I like this is a really, really good one. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's super, super creamy, kind of a sheer nude, but it's a little more peachy of a nude, and it's really, really smooth, so I really love that one. This is the one that I didn't like. Um, this is one of the um, Color Bursts, and this one's called Icy Nude, and I would not recommend this. Like, look at, can you even see? It's like chunky on the tip because there's so much glitter in here, and it's just like really... Uh, it's just an awkward one and then the glitter gets all over and it just does not feel good on your lips to have that glitter on the tip there. See it? Ugh. And it's a bummer because that is a really good color. They just shouldn't have put so much glitters in it. Which is probably why it's on sale, guys. Okay, um, then an another um, color burst. This is in Crimson, which is so the perfect red. This is probably one of my new favorite red lipsticks ever. It's more of that kind of deep brick red color, a little darker than your um, average red. To me, it's like the perfect red. I just like my reds to be a little bit more saturated with color. And then I got this pink, which is probably like the perfect pink. This is Carnation. And this is so pretty, you guys. I don't have anything really quite like this either. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's right here. It's amazing. Um, it's just creamy. It's smooth. And ah, ha, ha. I love it. It's not, um, it's shiny without being like a pearl finish, so that's why I love it. Also bought another, um, this is a L'Oreal Color Rich, and this is called Spiced Wine. And these are the ones, hopefully you can still see it in the middle. It has like a little insert in the middle, and that has like a moisturizer in the middle, and it definitely makes it soft, but it also kind of makes your color go on a little uneven. That's this one here. I probably wouldn't recommend that you pick this one up. Um, just because I think there are better things out there, but it's a pretty color. It's nothing spectacular, though. That was the only thing. But I bought it because of that little insert, and I don't know. We'll see. I'll try wearing it and let you guys know if you want. And the last one I got is what I actually have on my lips already, and this is one of the L'Oreal Infallible lipsticks, and the color I got was Molten Caramel. And what I like about these is if you like the Infallible lipstick, you can also buy it in the Infallible, um, like... These mamas, um, these are called, um, it says just infallible lip color. That's not very helpful. Um, but these things are like a lot more long wearing and they stay forever and you have to like scrub them off with makeup remover. So if it's a good way to test the color since you obviously can't see the color very well in here. Um, and then you, if you like it, you can buy it in that one or vice versa. So I thought that was handy. And this color is really pretty. It's a little bit more reddish than your average brown color. And I like it a lot. It's actually a dupe, um, or my Wet n Wild one is a dupe of this, whatever you call it. The one that I really love, um, I can't think of the number of it, but I've worn it in a few videos and I always recommend it because it's a good like brownish red color and this is a really good one. I'm hoping this will last a little longer than the Wet n Wild one. So I might do a review on these guys soon, but so far I really like it. It's creamy and it seems to be wearing pretty well. I've had this on for a couple hours and the color is gorgeous, so I definitely recommend it. Okay, then I got some eyeshadows, and this is the one I have on today. Um, I might do a tutorial on this just because it was super, super easy. Uh, but this is the L'Oreal Hip in Wicked, and it's purple and this kind of like coppery gold color. I just have the coppery gold on my lid, Wicked in the crease, and a matte highlight and a little bit of a um, shimmery golden color in my inner corner and it was so easy and it's really simple and it looks really pretty this is not helping you guys but it was so easy and I really like this I'm really impressed this is not a hundred percent matte you can see there's a little glitter in there but for the most part it's great um, I will swatch this for you and generally speaking I didn't get too much fallout with these colors they were pretty good 
Um, you definitely have to work the purple color just to make it really smooth, but for a drugstore, totally worth it. Also picked up one of these Revlon Satin um, single colors. This is um, Nude Slip. Here you go. This is going to be a perfect all over the lid color. It's so pretty. You guys look at that color. It's just really nice kind of sheer nude. Really, really pretty color, and again, on sale, you guys. And this I'm going to do a review on. This is one of the Revlon Color Stay eyeshadow palettes, and the one I have is in the color... Oh, that's fantastic. It does not say. Oh, Copper Spice. Excuse me. It does say. And, I don't know, I just picked this one up. I thought it was interesting. I've never tried these. It has a pretty... um shimmery, highlighty gold color. It has like a peachy, pinky nude color in the middle there. It has this copper, which is really super pigmented, and then this shimmery brown color. So I thought it was pretty good colors, and um, again, it was really cheap. This was like, ugh, it was nine something originally, so 75% off. I paid like two something for it. So I'm definitely going to review that and let you know. I'm not, I got this nail polish. Um, I'm not, I can't find my swatch wheel right now, but this is one of the Diamond Strength and they're redoing their Diamond Strength line. So these are all on sale. And this is called Royal Romance. I just don't have anything like this. It's like a plum with a golden shimmer to it. Super pretty. And I just thought I couldn't pass it up because I passed up so many nail polishes. They had a ton of Sally Hansen on sale, a ton of Revlon nail polishes on sale. So if you need nail polish, this would be a perfect time because there's a lot of great brands on sale as far as their nail polish goes, but I just can't buy too much more nail polish. Then I got the Shady Lady Volume 3 palette. Oh my god, I got this at Marshalls for $13, you guys. $13 is nothing. These things are really pricey. I mean, not super pricey, but really love it. Um, I love the packaging, and here's there's my camera. They have a mirror, and then they have all the colors, and it is so pretty, you guys. I'm really excited. I've heard great, great things about the Balm eyeshadows, and I just can't wait. So, um, I'm going to swatch a couple. This is the one that I'm most interested in, which is this color, which is called Come Hither Heather. Oh, my God. It's so pretty. That's going to be the perfect all over the lid color. Um... That purple is gorgeous. Um, how about this green, actually? This green looks a lot like um, Sumptuous Olive, but a little bit lighter. Mm, let's do the teal. Oh, yeah. So there's just a few colors, but I really, really like it so far. Their colors are soft without giving you a ton of fallout. So I can't wait to play around with this, maybe do a tutorial or two, because I know a lot of people have these, but look for them at your Marshalls. They also had the Volume 2, but um, someone had opened it and swatched it, and it looked really kind of gross. So Also, when I was there, I got this Bedhead Shampoo. Um, actually, it's conditioner, excuse me. This is the Urban Antidotes, and it's the Resurrection, um, and it's for... Damage level three because my hair it's not super damaged but particularly this time of year it gets really dried out and no matter what I do I get the worst split ends ever really do for a haircut and I'm hoping that I can just use this for a while and hopefully it will bring some moisture and help me out but um, $14.99 for this huge 25 ounce bottle of it I thought was a great steal so I definitely bought that I always look through their shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that at Marshalls because sometimes you can get great deals okay then really quickly I'm gonna do my Bath and Body Works stuff too this is the Twisted Peppermint one for your car I had to get this little guy he's so cute and Twisted Peppermint actually smells great so this is going in my car as soon as I'm done making this video and then I got some refills in the Spice Scent which is one of my all-time favorite sense from them. I love this one. It's only out in the holidays so I stocked up and then we got the fresh um, balsam 
which is something I was recommended by Say Anything Brooke as a really good like kind of Christmas tree woodsy type of scent. We plug this in behind our fake tree and it smells amazing so I got a new one for this year and then I also got a spice one because my mom loves this. Spice smells like cinnamon and cloves and everything you want it to smell like. It's not too sweet but it's really yummy smelling. I personally love it and so does my mother and she's very picky about scents. Then I got, God, every time I can't not buy hand sanitizer every time I go there. I think I'm going to give a bunch of hands gifts. But, um, okay, I got Mistletoe Kiss. Oh, I just can't even describe how good these things smell. All I want is presents. I don't even know what that mistletoe one smells like. All I want is presents is just kind of like a sweet smell. I don't know. It just smells amazing. This is probably my favorite apple wreath. Oh, apparently I'm going to use some. It's like apple. It's like a spiced apple. Mmm. That smells so good. Um, winter candy cane, which smells like a candy cane, but not too sweet. And then I also got winter cranberry. Again, a oh, really good scent. So I really love all of these. Hopefully I will be giving some of mine away. Hey guys, that's it for my haul. I want you to know that I do have a giveaway coming up very, very soon. It's going to be soon so that when I do my giveaway, um, you guys can get your gifts before Christmas. So I might even just record it after this and then put it up probably in the next week or so. It will be up, I promise. It's just going to be a simple comment giveaway because that's the easiest way to do it and the fairest way. I don't have to worry about people having video and this and that and etc etc and I just got my swatches everywhere <laughs> okay anyways I think this makes it a really good time to end my video but thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate it um, if you haven't already please subscribe because there is a lot more fun videos and a giveaway coming up in the next week I really hope you guys have a good holiday season check your CVS because again they're doing their huge clearance sale also your Marshalls for the Shady Lady palette and great hair products and amazing gifts I found some really really good gifts there already and thank you so much for watching guys have a great holiday season have a great day and I'll see you in the next video bye